Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to integrate your GoDaddy DNS settings with your System.io account. The first thing we're going to do is log into System.io. When you created your account uh, through our link, I would suggest making sure that you have not used any uppercase letters in your email. System.io struggles with those and has some issues with login if you do that. So we're going to sign in now. As you can see, this is a new account, so we haven't even filled out our payment info yet. We're going to go over here next to the carrot next to the little person icon and click on settings. And we're going to scroll down to custom domains. So you'll see here that your domain that System.io automatically provides you when you sign up is here. Um, and you can use that to build out your funnels if you would like but we do highly recommend you get a professional domain and email just because it looks, well, more professional. <laughs> so we're gonna go over here to add a domain and we are gonna add our domain, obviously. Um, so here we go. Uh, you wanna make sure you have the www dot and then uh, we'll put she goes digital dot com. You will put whatever domain you purchased and then we're gonna hit save. Uh, please note there is an article you can click on here about how to set up your custom domain. And then as this is saving, um, we now have a pop-up with our DNS configurations. And again, we have a link to read the article on how to set up a custom domain. I'm gonna click out of this for a moment just to show you how to access it if for some reason it gets closed. So here we are, you can see that the domain name is showing up. It says pending validations. You can hit show instructions and then the same thing will pop, will pop up. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna go over to our GoDaddy and we are gonna go to our drop down under our name to my products. And I already have this page open so it's gonna look the same, but I'm gonna scroll down to the, um, the domain that we are integrating. You may only have one. I'm a bit of a uh, domain hoarder, so <laughs> I have a few. Okay, so we're going to click on DNS. It takes us right over here to our DNS settings. The first thing we are going to do, as you can see on System.io, is the www.shegoesdigital.com. We are going to click on the www and edit that. And then we're gonna come back to System.io. We're gonna leave this alone. We don't need to touch this side, but we're gonna come back over here and copy um, the string of letters and numbers.cloudfront.net. Then you are gonna come over here and you are going to remove the value and then uh, paste the value that you just copied and hit save. And that saves. And now we have a second C name that we need to actually input. So we're going to come back here, add a new record, make sure that you're choosing C name from this drop down. And then over back on system IO, we are going to copy everything in front of this period. So everything before dot she goes digital.com or dot your domain.com. So from the three forward, we're going to copy that and we are going to bring that over and put it in to the name. Now, if you use a different domain registrar, what you have to input may be different than this. It may be the whole thing. The reason we suggest GoDaddy is because it is the easiest to integrate and has the least issues. Uh, I've helped dozens of people get set up in System.io and GoDaddy is pretty much the only one that I never have issues with. And then we are going to come over to the right here and we're going to copy everything on the right side of the C name. And we're going to head back, place that in the value, and then hit paste. And then we are going to save. Now you have set up your DNS to get your domain verified. So over here, we'll click out of this and you'll say, see, it still says pending validation. It can take 24 to 48 hours for this to change status and say ready to use. 
If you have gone 24 to 48 hours and it still says pending validation, I'd say 48 hours, you're going to want to go over to your DNS settings and scroll up and then take a screenshot. Now, in this case, um, I have a screenshot tool in my Chrome extensions, but however you want to do it, you can. Oops, excuse me. And then we are going to capture that. You want to make sure it shows both your www dot as well as this underscore CE, whatever the string of numbers is with your um, other info C name. And then you're just going to save that. Uh, I'm going to just download it to my downloads. And the reason you want this is because if for some reason it's been 48 hours and you still have not got a pending validation, you're going to want to come up to the help tab. Excuse me, I'm having a little bit of an issue. Okay, go to the help tab. You are going to collect or select contact form. And then you are going to scroll down to the contact form, enter your name, enter your email, type in this message. My domain is still not ready after 48 hours. Can you please help? I'm attaching a screenshot of my DNS settings for reference. And you'll attach your file. And I have lots of files, as you can see. Make sure to select I am not a robot, and then you will hit submit. I'm not going to do this because I don't need to at the moment. But that is what you want to do if it's been 48 hours and it does not say ready to use. Um, the reason you are doing this is because very often when something like that happens, I send a message like this and they resolve it on their back end. If for some reason it's not on their end and it's on your end, they will send it back to you with instructions on how to fix it. And then you will resend a screenshot to them to pr prove that it is correct and then they will get it taken care of. Now, this happens sometimes. Uh, it's just one of those quirks with System.io, but they don't have a whole lot of other quirks. So this is uh, you know, our favorite tool because it's free to start. And it's, uh, if we look at pricing here, as you can see, it's free to start for up to 2,000 contacts. And then it goes up in tiered plans based on your contacts and the other things that you want to be able to do. So highly recommend System.io, and that is how you set up your DNS for your website. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and we look forward to chatting with you.